most people in America are looking for what makes life living. And when we think about this, we think about the life partners, the business, strategic alliances, and the romantic partners that come into mind. You see, a lot of people actually combine those and they find themselves becoming friends with a business friend. In other words, a business colleague, a person that you meet through professional networks. And then over the course of time, you produce a friendship. And you talk about all sorts of things that are part of life balance, faith, family, fitness, finances, philanthropy, whatnot. And then over the course of time, you might talk about intimate things that draws the line or eradicates the line, depending on your point of view, about where that relationship might go and how it might be for you. In the course of time, you also might get a proposal of marriage, or you might get a proposal for a date, or you might have had one accidentally or on purpose and didn't really exactly call it a date, but you found that that moment of time was the best time of your life, the most happiest moment you've ever had in your life. And if you say that to someone, Will they care? Will they know? Will they understand? And it's not a matter of buyer beware. You participated in those lunches. You participated in those dinners. You participated in attending someone's house when their spouse wasn't home. You participated in sharing conversations on faith. You participated in sharing conversations on rearing children. You participated on legacy or life legacy things. And you participated once or twice without intent, perhaps on something to do with medical rights, which meant that the stage was being set for something a little bit more romantic, a little bit more intentional, a little bit more opportunistic, but not until all the parties were fully aware. And when you say those sort of things, it usually means something marvelous can occur because probably you're being led by the Lord to do things, but at the same time, you have to scope around that relationship and go, okay, if I do this, what will happen over here? And what happens over here can impact this. And openly at this exact second, it may not be a fit. But in a few months' time and a few months of opportunity after you've gone through your shit and I've finished mine, then maybe what the Lord is revealing to me will come to pass. 